Now new to Microsoft Word 2010 is the navigation pane and you can open it up one of two ways. Either come up here on the home tab to the editing group and click on the find button and it opens up the navigation pane or close out and use the shortcut keys control F. It brings up the same window. Now for those of you who've used previous versions of Word this is not what you're used to. When you hit the control F you're probably used to seeing this. Let me come back up here and click on the find corresponding drop down arrow and go to advance find you're used to seeing that window come up. Well, that's been bumped back. That's now the advanced feature. For basic finds, let me click cancel. It opens up the navigation pane, okay? So I can come over here in the navigation pane in that field and type in what I'm looking for, like a keyword, like let's say uh, Beck. When I type it in, it quickly searches the document, does a couple of things. One, over in the document, it highlights the last name Beck, and then also down below, it shows you that it found 12 matches. It has the keyword in it and also the text before it and after it. So that way you can scroll through here and say, okay, I remember um, something about Beck. He's the keyword, but something about faith in the government. And you can come down here. Oh, there it is. Faith in the government is right there. So you can click and go right to it. Okay. So you can get the context, the words before and sometimes after the Beck here. You don't get much after this one right here. So you can have an idea of what you're searching for instead of just going through all the Becks. Go ahead and read a little bit before it and see if that's the uh, part that you want to be able to advance to just by clicking on it. Or come back up here and you see those uh, triangles. You can click on it to go from one box down to the next one where it has the keyword. Or you can go back up so you can go up or down. And you can see that it found three of 12 matches. That's one way to search. And if you hover over that tab, there's three of them here. You hover over that one. And that one's the browse results. It gives the results of the current search text here, which is up here. This one does it by page. So if I click on that, it shows all the pages that it found the keywords on. And I don't know if you can see it, but man, it's so tiny. But it is highlighted on page one. There's no page two because it didn't found back on page two. But there's some highlights. You can barely see it here on page three. So that way you can go, okay, what pages have this uh, keyword, what pages don't. Or you can go to the first tab, and when you hover over it, let me hover off and hover back on it, you can browse by headings in your document. This document doesn't have any heading styles applied to it, and you want to watch my training video on headings, but if there were headings, and you want to search by the keyword, it would advance to those headings if it was found, that keyword within that heading, okay? And headings would be something like what you see here in bold, but have a style applied to it, a heading style. You can see up here in the styles group, there's a heading style right there, okay? Which I don't have applied to any of my uh, headings here, but we'll discuss that more later on. Now aside from bringing up the basic find feature, the navigation pane, you also have its corresponding drop down arrow where you can go ahead and set the options. Default, it highlights all the keywords. You can uncheck that if you don't want them highlighted, but you just want to go ahead and advance to one keyword to the next. Or you can find whole words, whatever you type in here. It has to be a whole word. It can't just be part of it, like where it says Glenn Beck. It has to be by itself. So you can make some changes there if you'd like by checking those boxes or unchecking them. Let me go ahead and click cancel. So if you want to learn more about the advanced find feature, which I recommend you do, aside from the basic find, you want to watch the next training video. And then to go ahead and clear out of this, let's close it. Now if you still have your document open and you hold down the control key and you hit the letter F key, it brings it up and it doesn't forget your keyword here. So if you want to get rid of it, just go ahead and you can click on the X and it clears it or just delete it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.